Hey everyone, Pat Gillette here from Dragonfly Art Studio. Um, I just want to thank you all for being here and for your waves and your hearts and your comments and just for being here. Thank you so much. That keeps me going. Um, I keep saying that your success path is a spiral because you, you always, your body remembers everything that you've learned before. It comes back to you. It's like stored in your uh, bodily memory of movement and senses. It's a sensory thing, you know, it's not a thinking thing. And here's how that works, you know. We now know that the body has three brains. You've got the brain, but we've got the heart brain, and we've got the gut brain. And the heart and the gut have been found to hold the same kinds of cells as the brain. They are neurotransmitters. They deal with the senses and with the motor reflexes. Um, they process store and can access what they've learned, what they've experienced. Now, can you grasp that? Your heart knows things. Your gut knows things. And let's, let's really think about this. The heart is your intuition and the gut are your instincts. These are very ancient survival uh, cells and traits and tendencies that we have from our very primitive first days here. You know, it's kept us alive. When you have to access your heart and your gut consciously, you know, your intuition and your instincts consciously, and you develop them as we do in art, uh, you know immediately they are fast. They are instantaneous. You know when you walk in a room that things are good here or you better get out of here. You know that. You know the hair stands up on end. Um, you get the goosebumps, you know. You get this queasy kind of a feeling that you know <clears throat> you don't belong here. And uh, this, this is it. This is your instincts. These are your intu intuitions. And we have to trust this more. If we develop these and trust these more, um, you would have all the decisions inside of you. You'd have the answers to everything inside of you. You know, what these do, <clears throat> they learn, <clears throat> they grow, they remember, and they change. So these are constantly learning and growing and changing inside of you. And what's more, the heart and the gut are constantly sending signals throughout your body, impulses, constantly sending things to the brain. Now the brain is the slow one. The brain has to play catch up here. The brain has to analyze the whatever is coming its way and put it into words and figure out, oh, this is not good for me, you know, kind of a thing. So if you could learn to trust yourself and your intuition and instincts, this would be a, a tremendous aptitude to develop in yourself. Uh, you'll build your confidence. You will build more trust in yourself. You'll look to the inside for answers for everything because you'll know that's way better than all the input of everything coming outside of us. You won't have to look to anyone else for direction or focus, you know, and art develops all of this. So that's why I say, you know, keep doing art. The more you do art, the better you get at these things, the more you develop that intuition and those instincts. And so with that, let's get closer and do a painting. I've really been thinking about a lot. Let's see if we can get, um, okay, that's way better. Now, with, I've been thinking a lot of Santa Fe, and, you know, just like the water, Santa Fe mountains have this spaciousness about them, this ancient time about them, 
um, let's see, let's try that. So I want to make sure you, you get the whole picture. We've got this side, and <clears throat> maybe we just need a little bit farther back. I want you to get the whole picture. So the Sangre de Cristo Mountains are just like incredibly wonderful. And and that's what I, I'm working off a picture that I've taken and that stayed with me. And I've sketched it out a little bit so that I can have kind of something to go by. Um, and um, paint. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking, I keep thinking of turquoise skies, so <clears throat> I'm going to kind of go in that direction. I've got some turquoise, and a bit of Prussian. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start. See where it takes me. Oh. <clears throat> A little bit of allergies. We are going to be in the middle of a tropical storm here, and that's very unusual for Connecticut. So we'll see how we do. Hopefully, we'll we'll be fine. But it's <clears throat> definitely headed our way. So I keep thinking of this turquoise, and I like it a little deeper in the corners. You know, I'd love to know what kinds of things you'd like to see done here. We've done a lot of water. Now we'll do some mountains. And if you got to see the last painting I posted, Evening Light, um, the color there was very saturated, very saturated. And what that means is that they're very intense. There's a lot of um, contrast in just the color alone. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that turquoise and get a little bit of, um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll switch over, maybe I'll switch brushes and aim for those clouds because those clouds are really something. You know, S Santa Fe is at 7,000 feet. They say they have no foothills. What that means is that the land just goes straight across and up come these mountains, and these mountains are like 7,000 feet, you know. So I'm seeing a little pale, paleness coming in through here. The clouds seem to have a, a yellowish tone to them. And the skies, because it's at 7,000 feet, the skies are like crystal clear. Incredible, incredible skies. Let's carry some of that blue into it so that um, got these clouds coming over. And, and then we'll carry some of that blue into it. Kind of a shadow, a shadow effect. And I love these mountains so much. They're not like Colorado. Colorado are like, like huge, but these are like, they're soft. They're soft rolling hills. And everything seems so unreal there. You know, it's like the skies and the colors. OK. 
carry some of that blue in. That's nice. And I'll put a little bit. And then let's kind of blend it. And then the clouds have shadows, you know. And and what's really cool is that the clouds cast shadows on the ground. Which I remember the first time I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, they're moving so fast and they were just so incredible and it was just so obvious. You know, it's not the kind of thing you pay attention to uh, growing up in Chicago, exactly, you know, it's just uh, something you come across. And experience in this wide open breathing space kind of a thing. Yes, you, you, you take deep breaths just naturally because it's, it's just so amazing. And I think Santa Fe will probably be the first place we go back to when things clear up a bit. Would be nice. Really love it out there. So, you know, I can't quite see the phone, but you can just, you know, talk to me. You can, you can tell me, send a heart if you like something in particular. You can ask me things. Let's get that a little bit more of that in. That kind of a thing. And I really do appreciate you being here. And if you ever have questions, we could do a. We can do that too. I'll answer whatever thoughts you are, you may have. I love the contrast clouds in the sky. It's just such a <clears throat> soothing place, you know. It's, it's got so many cultures happening over there. It's just, it's like going to a, a foreign country, but you haven't left the States. It's really wonderful. The thing is, you know, you have to be careful of altitude sickness. You have to give your body time to adjust what happens there with that is that um, your white blood cells can't keep up with it. And, uh, and so you get like, oh my gosh, claustrophobic. You know, you can't be like in a car. You've got, you've got to be walking around. You've got to be, and, and yet, you know, you are really like totally out of it. I had it once. We went to the Four Corners, and we were in Durango, Colorado. And we <laughs> decided to walk down to the river. Yeah, well, let me tell you, that river was just a little line on the ground where we were, where we were starting. And uh, we went down, <laughs> and we came back up and got in the car, and then it hit. It was just like incredible. Um, not feeling good, pounding headache. I just had to go find a nice motel or something and just sleep it off for a number of hours until I felt better. Now let's get a little bit more of that real pale, 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 pale. Mm -hmm. 
kind of a turquoise. Lighter than the top. Deeper than the clouds. So the skies are turquoise and purple. <laughs> and this lavender. Incredible color skies. And to see the dawn, we were, we were not typically dawn people, but one time there was a uh, Rolling Stone concert going on in Albuquerque. We couldn't stay closer to the airport in Albuquerque. We have to stay up in uh, Santa Fe. And uh, we got to see the dawn and oh my gosh, it's like emerald. It's like emerald green or something. You never saw colors like these. So it was a great gift even though it was like really early, but it was a great gift to experience. Let's get more of that. Now we got some more clouds coming in. And they're just kind of wispy. Must be kinds of clouds. They have a little bit of a yellowish tint to them. So I love to paint and to paint things that are meaningful. You know, I always say that that's, that's the key. That's the key. You want to make stuff that means something to you. Now let's get more of that turquoise. And I'm going to put a little bit more of this up in here. blending brush and just kind of little baby wipe 
Kind of soften those edges a little bit. Hope you're saying all this. <laughs> a lot different than I generally work. I usually like to just kind of be freer. But I really wanted to kind of capture these particular mountains. And that makes a difference. You approach different, different projects in different ways. I kind of like that. You know, when you put a color over a color, it's like a glaze. So you have some of the darker showing through in places. Certainly been a wild summer rain, like torrential, and then I'll come out and the sun will come out and it'll be hot again. But I'm hearing it's nowhere near what people are having in, in the Southwest. I guess there it's really been in the hundreds. Lighter at the top, a little deeper at the bottom, and some more wispies out this way. horizontal. Now for these mountains, I'm really thinking, you know, some of this uh, turquoise mixed in with kind of a Prussian, Prussian blue. And there's all kinds of things happening in mountains, you know. All kinds of things happening, different tones and things. Let me get a. I wonder if I should use. Well, we'll just try this. And I think what I really would like is a bit of um, oil pastel in places. Going to switch brushes. And get a clean edge. And kind of things happening. Turquoise. And that those mountains just kind of rise up.
You know, and with anything, you know, you kind of go in the direction of, you make your marks go in the direction of the um, object you're, you're trying to draw. So, let's get that big peak. And the, and the mountains look so blue. The mountains are very fascinating because what happens is when the sun hits them, they'll turn red. <laughs> and that's where the Sangre de Cristo comes from, the blood of Christ. The Spaniards came in and named them that. And uh, they glow and at sunset. I've seen them turn gold, golden tones. I mean, just just that experience alone is worth going out there to see this amazing place. Very much an art community, Santa Fe. We love the um, the galleries. Met so many of the artists things happening in here. Dark things happening. A little bit of Payne's gray. Dark. going to work into it with a little bit of the turquoise. lightness coming in there. blending brush we want it to be interesting you know kind of things happening in there Of depth at the very bottom. Great hiking trails. 
all kinds of legends go back in these, you know, everybody was here. The, um, the first Native Americans who came over the land, well, who knows how they came, because they, they were here a long time before that land mass came over. So they think that a lot of them came over by boat and made their way inland and uh, ancient sites, ancient sites. And then we had French explorers and then the Spaniards came. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff happening here. So the history is just incredible. Now, that's pretty much the mountain range. Now for the rest of this, I would like to go into it and start to switch over a little bit. Still using Prussian, you know, we like to mix the same kind of colors, but um, ooh, I really like to lighten it up a little bit around this. You know, you look at what's light and what's dark, and where something's dark, just put in a, a lighter tone of color of something. And this is a warm white, by the way, that I'm using. Right in through there. And it, it seems to appear in a few places. Now, for this bottom part, I want to start to introduce kind of a, a lavender, kind of a... There's growth, there's, there's sage, there's all kinds of things happening in, in through this, this whole piece, this area. And it's, it's very elusive, you know. It looks like you could walk it, but it's, uh, you better have your water, you better have, you know, help, you better have something going on helping you there because it's not all that, that easy. Everything is farther, farther away than you think. And then it has all this kind of stuff going on. Things growing, different tones happening. Let your brush do the work. And the colors, you know, you can make up any colors you want. You know, they call it, I uh, guess I picked this up, in, you know, in European painters, they call it non-local color. And uh, that means that it's just not, you know, if something's green, you make it purple or something. It's not the color you actually are seeing. And it makes it way more interesting. And it's your interpretation, you know, it's always your interpretation. I mean, the, the picture itself is, is just so nice. I mean, I wouldn't want to make it look like a photograph anyway, because if 
photograph is just fine the way it is. And there's things, there's things happening. Little sparse things growing. Spreading out and a little bit of green. It's very light. I like getting some very light. Carrying that lavender. I was kind of thinking lavender skies, but then I the turquoise skies keep coming back to me. So we'll carry some of this lavender down in through here. Nice contrast to the turquoise skies, I think. Get that big rolling brush that I like them so much. And let's start to work into this with some contrast. Get some things. favorite small brush seems to be a dark a dark I think this is like a lot of uh, sage growing in through here. You know, cactus, prickly things, all kinds of happening. something right here.
Let's get back into a little bit of uh, like kind of like a blue green like that kind of stuff. And let's see. Again, we have the spaciousness, to, uh, just as we had with the water, but this time with mountains and space. Prussian, Prussian blue. Darks next to lights creates all kinds of illusions. 
of things happening. Some verticals where everything's horizontal. Create an interest. kind of squint at the picture and you kind of see um, what some of the tones are. I think I'm going to try a little bit of um, violet. Just get some of the real depth going. And Just a little bit lavender. And it's kind of like <clears throat> catching our eye in places. To break up all the, the middle tones. Looks very mysterious, doesn't it? It's kind of like you know, like the dry brush effect it kind of drags it across. Like some of the lightest tones are the very last. Ties it together.
dog. Then I think I would pretty much just kind of step away. You know, take the picture. See what else it might need. The last one needed some things after the fact. And, uh, kind of tie it all together. kind of reflections of the sky in the land. Just kind of sit for a while, see what you think. Still think I want a broad band down here of some light. Things happening. Wildflowers. Things closer to us. What's going on? Okay, I think um, we're going to, um, one thing I, I do like to do is take some of the deep tones and just give it a spatter. Things happening. Especially in the bottom. I think that's um, pretty, pretty much the grass is growing, the sage. I really love the sky. I really love how our eye is drawn to this area. Um, I probably will still play in through here a bit and get some of the, break up some of the more solid areas.
more things happening. Make that real, real obvious, kind of. Solid. Okay, I think, I think that's just about it. I don't want anything to be too much the same in any one spot. Okay, I'm going to stop for now and I'm going to take a picture and take a step back and then I'll post and let you know if I added more to it. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. My Sacred Mountains of Santa Fe.